this stuff didn't take long. I need to get into makeup. I brought my own makeup. It's more hygienic. Why do they always have teacher meetings and a dress rehearsal day? I can't wait to get our t-shirts tonight. Could you go over that first castle scene with me again? I keep messing up those lines. Is she selling tickets tonight? I need at least four more. I'm so glad this is the last rehearsal. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. After this meeting, can you go to the last part of the Be Our Guest dance with me? Does anyone have any food? I'm starving. I have some grapes. Gertie, do not make your entrance too early tonight. Do you understand? The lights weren't even up yet last night. Hey, do you want everyone in La Vier's now? Oh, look, the cardboard for the pit is up tonight. Stop, guys, look. This doesn't look good. Uh, mass gatherings are prohibited in the state of Ohio, uh, the order reads. Mass gatherings are defined as any event or convening that brings together 100 or more persons in a single room or single space at the same time, such as an auditorium, a stadium, an arena, a large conference room, meeting hall, theater, or any other confined indoor or outdoor space. This would certainly also include parades, fairs, and festivals. For the purpose of clarity and math- I can't believe it. Maybe they'll change their mind? They said we can do it in three weeks. Do you think we'll have school tomorrow? Why now? Couldn't we just do it? The governor doesn't have to know. All that work. We were ready. We were so ready. What if we perform during school tomorrow? There might not be any school tomorrow. Is the coronavirus really that bad? Don't believe this is happening. Do you think I still need to do my physics homework tonight? Are we just leaving the set there? Should we put away the props? She said leave everything. No one will be in here until we have the show. I just don't see how the stupid virus has anything to do with us. Listen, Zoe, I'm scared. I have to call my mom. Did anybody tell the middle schoolers? I think I'm going to throw up. Why are we all hugging each other? We could be spreading the virus. I wanted this part so badly. I'll never get the chance to play it. Three weeks. She said three weeks. Will the virus be gone by then? I just can't believe it. My aunt and cousins were coming in from Pennsylvania for the show. I can't stop crying. I just can't stop crying. This isn't real. Hey, guys, why is Miss Chrissy curled up in a ball on the floor of her office? This is bad. This is real bad. Three weeks. The play will be in three weeks. It'll just give us some time to polish up on our lines. Hey, it'll be like a little vacation. Okay, well, part of this break is actually our vacation. Not like I'm going anywhere. Wasn't really headed too far anyways. Not seeing grandma in Michigan now. Which is sort of a relief. Because all we'd be doing is gardening, making way too many trips to Walmart, and watching Jeopardy. If I didn't know better, I'd think grandma had a thing for that Alex Trebek. No, it'll be fine not to see her. She'd try to patch up all the holes in my jeans and fix me up with that dorky kid next door. And she'd make me sit on the porch at night doing puzzles, listening to the bugs, crickets, and watch the stars. Not a good idea to visit her now because we shouldn't leave home and old people are at risk. And oh, grandma, they say that the virus is dangerous for old people. So maybe I should call her. Hi, Grandma. Yeah, I know. Listen, are you staying at... No, the play is postponed till April. You aren't going out? Yes, I'm still in the play, but we have to do it later. I was just making sure. What? Yes, I think we have toilet paper. Why? Seriously? No, listen, Grandma, I just want to make sure that you're okay. Don't go out, you know. And why do you have to go to Walmart? Don't you have any? I'm pretty sure 56 rolls is enough for you and the whole freaking neighborhood. Sorry I said freaking. Again, how many times do I have to tell you freaking is not a bad word? No, do not go out. I just wanted to say that. You know I can't come and visit you during spring break. They say it's not safe. The school, the government, the virus. It's not safe because of the virus. I'm sure Aunt Khaki will check on you if you need anything. 
I've been in your basement. You have enough food to last you down there at least a year. So you truly do not have to go out. Grandma, I'll miss visiting you, you know? Those puzzles in Jeopardy. Yeah, I heard he's sick. Grandma, please, please, please stay safe. I will come and visit you as soon as this is over. No, wait. In three weeks, you'll be able to come and see my play. Well, that's what the director said. Three weeks. I don't know, but I hope so. Do you think this will be over in three weeks? Guess not if you bought 56 rolls of toilet paper. 11.45. She was supposed to get off her shift two hours ago. She's not answering any of my messages either. I cannot go to sleep. I can sleep all morning tomorrow if I have to. It's not like I have to be up for the bus at 6.30 in the morning. School will wait. Wait. Will school? Will school wait? I don't know why she's not answering any of my calls. I cannot stand this waiting and not knowing. When will this all be over? Someone has to be up. Calvin? No. Maggie? No. Isaac? Definitely not. Zoe, of course. Are you up? Can you Zoom? I knew Zoe wouldn't let me down. What's up, Bree? You, obviously, but why so late? Mom's not home yet. It is a little pathetic that the 16-year-old can't go to sleep because her mom's still working. I know, but I'm worried. Worried? You know, she works at the hospital. Her shifts always seem to run over, or she takes on extras. She's right in the middle of everything. I can't stand it. Calm down. I'm sure she's okay. Your mom is fab. She gives a little bit of extra to everyone, no matter what it is. She will be okay. Besides, doesn't the hospital give PPP stuff to the workers? PPE? Personal protective equipment? There's not really enough to go around. You need a change of focus. Got your script handy? We can run lines. I don't want to run lines. We're probably not even going to do the play anyway. We're not going to go back to school. We're not going to have a musical. We're not going to watch our friends graduate. We're not going to have sports or theater or anything. It's all just going to be gone. Whoa there, Debbie Downer. Just breathe. Did you eat today? I had a popsicle for dinner. I'm sure that's not what your mom told you to make. I'm not hungry. I'm just stressed. You and the rest of Geneva, the rest of Ohio, the rest of the whole flipping U.S. of A. My four cardinal rules, eat, sleep, meditate, exercise. Have you done any of these? I went downstairs at noon to get the mail. Does that count as exercise? Bridget, it's going to be okay. We might not go back to school this year, but just wait. Sports will return in the summer and we will start our senior year and there will be football games and rehearsals and homecoming dance and everything we ever dreamed of for our senior year. We can't know that. They told us three weeks. We were supposed to go back in three weeks. Nobody knows anything. They're all just guessing. Zoe, my mother could get COVID and die. It's probably not going to. You don't understand. It's just the two of us, just me and my mom. No dad, he's nowhere to be found. No brothers or sisters or pets or anything. I don't know what my life would be like without her. I cannot imagine a world without her. Stop thinking about the bad things that could happen. You're worrying about something that hasn't even happened yet. Zoe, you don't understand. My mom could get it, bring it home to me, and I could die. Calm down. The, the truth is, anyone could get it anywhere. The grocery store, Walmart. The I don't go to the grocery store or Walmart. I just sit at my computer for class or stare at the TV or stare at these lines that I'm never going to get to say. And I just wait for my mom to come home and I wait for this all to be over. I hear you. It's a nightmare and you want to wake up, but the nightmare is real. I'm sorry, Zoe. I didn't mean to get all weird and everything. I think I'm tired. It's okay. I'm here and I'll stay with you until your mom gets home. Really? Sure. Pick up your script and we'll run the second act. You don't give up, do you? I try not to give up. Hey, look! That's my mom. Thanks so much, Zoe. I'll talk to you later, okay? Sure. I try not to give up.
every day I want to give up. I want to toss in the towel and say I can't play this game anymore. But every day I drag myself out of the head. I check my schoolwork. I do my chores. I play with my little brother. I take a walk outside in the front lawn walking in circles until I reach 3,000 steps. And then I call my friends and I listen to their pain. So much pain, but they need me. They need me to listen and to pull them out of the darkness. But I cannot stare into the darkness for too long because I'm afraid if I do, I will drown in the vast emptiness of it all. I cannot just sit and wait for this all to be over. I have to keep living one step at a time. Keep moving. Do not give up. Sheena, how are you doing? How do I love thee? Let me count the ways. <clears throat> One, I love you in the morning. Two, I love you in the day. Three, I love you when you're born. Four, I love how you sway. That is good. She is going to love it all. Oh, she's definitely going to want to go out with me. Of course, she can't really go out with me. But boy, is she going to want to when she hears this song. I've had to be a bit creative. Thank you very much, Governor DeWine, coronavirus, and some little bat somewhere for totally ruining my love life. I had it all planned out. I was going to ask her to go to pizza with me after the show. Everyone goes to pizza after the show, so it wouldn't really be a date, but she wouldn't say no either. She would have said yes. I know she was going to say yes. Now I'm just stuck in my room during this beautiful spring. Okay, why is it snowing in April? Ugh. Now no show until May. All we have is weeks of spring break, not counting all the online work I get done in one day because I'm so brilliant and have one hell of a work ethic. Thank you, Mom and Dad. Here I am, stuck in my house, my room. How, how is anyone supposed to learn to love me if I'm, if I'm stuck here in quarantine, alone, again, alone? How am I doing? I'm doing just fine. Just fine. No, I'm not fine. Far away from fine. Fine was January or February. Fine ended on March 13th, Friday the 13th. It's no more fine. I, I worked hard for my senior year. I worked hard for my graduation. I always did the right things. I didn't get into trouble. I focused on my schoolwork. I hung out with the right kids. I didn't let the bad things in my past determine my actions. I wanted my last musical. The one I loved. The opening night jitters and the closing night tears. I wanted my award ceremony. I could just be called up on stage and everyone would clap. I wanted my senior prom. Just to take funny pictures with my friends. I wanted my graduation to march out to pomp and circumstance onto the field, the hot and crowded field, sitting in my seats and wearing my cords. I wanted to throw up my hat and laugh with my friends. You know, traditions are important. They're what keeps the civil society from disintegrating into chaos. We need traditions. I need traditions. I worked hard to get to a good college. Now, now I hear that there won't be any campus in the fall just online. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. This was the day I was supposed to graduate. What's up, Buttercup? Why are you calling me? You're supposed to be riding with me today. No, thanks. I think I'll pass on that once in a lifetime opportunity. No, I'm serious. My parents offered to drive with you graduation. I know. I've decided I'm not going to that lame pretend graduation anyways. 
Well, you could have told me that sooner. They made me decorate the car and everything. I did not ask them to do that. No, but they know all about your... My what? My situation? Sheena, what's wrong with you? This isn't how I thought it would be. I know. Everyone's making a big fuss over nothing. I mean, gold germs. We've had gold germs around for, like, ever. But now everyone's freaking out because a few people in China died. It's kind of ridiculous. Okay, Calvin. I know you don't believe in the whole coronavirus thing, but it's highly unlikely that it's all made up. Anyways, that's not the point. You know, I've never had much in my life. You know, my mom died before I could even remember, and who knows where my dad is, and my uncle. He tries, but he just doesn't get it either. You know, I think riding through graduation on a motorcycle would be pretty cool. I wanted my graduation. You're getting a graduation. It's not the same. Of course it's not the same. The whole world's going crazy over this coronavirus crap. And everyone's believing all the lies and changing all the rules. But you're still getting a graduation. Coronavirus is not a lie. It is real. We're not having this argument again. No time. I agree with you on one thing. All the rules are changing. And I've listened to the rules my whole life, and now I just don't know how to do this. You're making this way bigger than it needs to be. It's one stupid day in your entire life. You're actually calling it graduation, you know, so it is graduation. Get yourself ready, I'll pick you up in an hour. Aren't you afraid I'm gonna give you the coronavirus? No, you play by the rules, remember? Besides, we'll be in the back seat. Aren't you going? Well, I'll be in the back seat with you, of course. <laughs> the only time you're going to be in the back seat with me. <laughs> Can we pick you up in an hour? Well. Just, yeah, pick me up in an hour. Hello, Laurel, Zoe, I can't see you guys. Hang on, I have to get my camera to work. I can see both of you. Good, we're all here. Chase isn't coming today, he has to work again. That's all he does is work. He's working two jobs now. I know, his dad got laid off due to COVID, so he's trying to help pay bills. That's okay, I can read his lines. To be honest, Maggie, we've gone over these lines a lot already. Don't you think we can overdo it? She's right. We might peak. I seriously don't know how we're going to peak when we haven't rehearsed in weeks. Running lines is rehearsing. No, running lines is running lines. What are you eating? Cheetos. Last time, it was Doritos. I believe in equal opportunity for junk food. Oh, snap. Tally's in the waiting room. Who told her we were rehearsing? Um, she's in the scene. I know, but she's a little intense, don't you think? You should let her in. Must I? Maggie! Okay, okay. Hello, Tally. Hi, guys. Did you start without me? We were just discussing whether or not we should run lines. No, you and Zoe were discussing whether or not we should run lines. That's the whole purpose of the Zoom meeting. Did you realize that in December 2019, Zoom had 10 million daily par meeting participants? By April 2020, only four months later, more than 300 million people are using Zoom. Had no idea. Guess people had to find a safe way to meet. We should plan a day meeting outside. I like to be outdoors. When you're outside, fresh air is constantly moving, dispersing the virus droplets. So, you're less likely to breathe in enough of the respiratory droplets containing the virus that causes COVID-19 to become infected. I've heard that too. Being outside is much safer for people. I like to take walks up at the lake. If I go early enough, no one is there. <laughs> Who gets up early in the morning if they don't have to? Did you know that early risers are more productive than those who wake up or later in the day? In a recent poll of 510 early risers waking up between 4 a.m. and 7 a.m. and 506 late risers, people who wake up between 8 a.m. and 12 p.m., the 4 a.m. group is 71% more productive than those who sleep until 11 a.m. 
Well, in real life, when we all had to get up for the school bus, we were all awake before 7 a.m. I guess we're less productive because of COVID. Speak for yourself. I've created my most fascinating pieces of artwork as of late. I don't have much to do aside from homework, so my creativity is definitely up. Crisis can be a strong driver of creativity and innovation. Thank you, Tally. My thoughts, exactly. Check out this piece. I call it anxiety. Is that mustard and ketchup? It could be. I was eating a few hot dogs while I was working on it. I never thought condiments could be art. This depicts the anxiety that has been brought on because of coronavirus and quarantine. Isn't it kind of a mess, though? It is! This whole situation is a mess. Do you think we'll get to play sports this fall? The CDC recommends taking the least possible risk with skill building drills at home or team practice. More risk comes when there is within team competition and even more risk competitions with other teams from our areas. The worst risk is team competitions in other areas. I don't think she means professional sports, just soccer. I wasn't talking about professional sports. Soccer is a team sport. Football for sure. There's no way they're going to cancel football. Traditions. Many families have reinvented their own traditions, like family breakfast, game night, and that type of thing. The new community tradition is to cross to the other side of the street when you see someone walking in your direction. Courtesy. Fear! People are afraid they will cross paths with someone who has the virus. COVID fatigue, that's what you have. It's when someone is tired of cooped up, tired of being careful, and tired of being scared. So you either become careless in fighting the virus or you stay super cautious, which leads to exhaustion and stress. Yes, Tally, I have COVID fatigue. I'm also getting fatigue of your facts. I don't think fatigue is a verb. It's a noun and a verb. Wonderful. Are we running lines today or not? I vote no. Do you think we'll ever really do the show anyways? Of course we're going to do the show. Why would she keep, why would she ask us to keep rehearsing? It's been postponed twice already. Yeah, it's like when you wake up from a dream and you try to remember, I, I just can't recognize the faces anymore. Hello, and the faces are right in front of you. What's wrong with you people? Uh, what are you eating now? Chocolate. You've driven me to chocolate if we're not. COVID fatigue, that's what you have. It's when someone is tired of cooped up, tired of being careful, and tired of being scared. So you either become careless in fighting the virus or you stay super cautious, which leads to exhaustion and stress. Yes, Tally, I have COVID fatigue. I'm also getting fatigue of your facts. I don't think fatigue is a verb. It's a noun and a verb. Wonderful. Are we running lines today or not? I vote no. Do you think we'll ever really do the show anyways? Of course we're going to do the show. Why would she keep, why would she ask us to keep rehearsing? It's been postponed twice already. Yeah, it's like when you wake up from a dream and you try to remember, I, I just can't recognize the faces anymore. Hello, and the faces are right in front of you. What's wrong with you people? Uh, what are you eating now? Chocolate. If we're not going to rehearse, then I'm going to eat chocolate. That shade of chocolate would look lovely on your painting. When I'm outside, I can breathe. I just take deep breaths just in case breathing in the, my own breath in the mask does something terrible to my lungs. Outside, there are no walls to stare at as they close in around me. I like it outside, early before anyone is on the trail. Well, just maybe a few older people, but they stay away or we throw on our masks as we pass each other. But for the most part, I don't like to think about anything bad. I can think of good things. I can think of happy things like my family. Everyone is home now and it does get a bit crowded. That's why I like my time outside. But it's really important. Everyone's together and that's really important to me. Lots of people hate their families. I don't. I'm really lucky to have my family. I have a dad, he's kind of goofy and he does work a lot, but now he works at the computer and so we can have lunch together. And sometimes he asks me to take a drive to get ice cream. I like that because we never really got to spend a whole lot of time together on a daily basis, just maybe vacation. My mom talks to me more. 
we bake with my two sisters and my sisters do fight a lot <laughs> but i think we all still like each other oh and i have a baby brother who gets into everything <laughs> my family's pretty cool i like them a lot once in a while maggie calls these zoom meetings for rehearsing <laughs> but we hardly ever rehearse we just talk that's good too um i mean i don't know if we would do this if school were in session there's all these other popular people that they could hang out or talk to. Not me, I don't know. Just, I met them in the show. Maybe they would talk to me in school and all, but I, I don't know. I like what we have now because I feel like I belong. <sighs> Today's not a good day. Hm, yesterday wasn't a good day. When will I ever have a good day? I am sitting here wanting memories to teach me to see the beauty in the world through my own eyes. Ugh. I can't get myself to do the schoolwork. I can't focus. You know, some people need things in their lives other than math and science and history and even reading. Some people need music. Little town, it's a quiet village. Every day, like the one before. Some people need art and theater. Some people need to be creative. Being creative is the only way that I can escape the darkness that follows me everywhere. It would scare you to know what goes on in my brain sometimes. When the darkness takes over, it controls me. It makes me lay in bed all day, staring at my ceiling. It weighs me down and crawls on top of me and I can't breathe. It lures me to places that I don't want to go. Can you hear? My only escape. The rope tossed down into the darkness so that I can climb up is music. It pulls me up and it fills me with sound and purpose like an unfamiliar joy, turning all the darkness into light and I am alive. I am alive. No passion could reach me. No lesson could teach me. The music, the art, the theater, they make me whole and they pull me into community with others who share this incredible love of creating. It is the nature of love to create. And COVID stole that away from me. I don't know how to create as I stand all alone in the darkness. I have no song to sing. The computer is a poor companion for the soul. I have no picture to paint for tears of water down the palette. I have no more lines to say. Rehearsal is dried up like a withered leaf. The darkness beckons me. Why are you calling me? That's a lovely way to answer the phone. Ugh, again, why are you calling me? Can I paint your feet? What? I just got this terrific idea about with how, you know, COVID and everything. Everyone is inside and nobody goes outside anymore except for Laurel and maybe Donovan. Well, anyway, I think our hands are tied, but everyone does hands and I want to do feet. You could, like, send me a picture of your feet, or you could be, like, a live model and we could talk while I work. You want me to be your foot model? Yes, but I can't pay you. I don't have any money to pay, but if the piece turns out well, I could make a copy for you. Listen, this is going to be pretty great. It is original. It is. Will you do it? I'm guessing that you want bare feet. Of course I want bare feet. It's summertime and everyone goes barefoot in the summer. <sighs> Not everyone. Come on. Have you been lying around all day moping about your existence? I know you have. Okay, look. I really am depressed, you know? It's not like I choose to live this way. I know that. 
just for a few hours. Be my foot model. I'll let you sing while I paint. You drive a hard bargain. Well, wait, you won't be smacking on chips or anything, will you? I find that kind of annoying. Okay, I promise. I'll only eat soft foods while I paint your feet. You do realize that this is very weird, don't you? Why did you call me? Vince is the only person that I know who likes to do weird, creative stuff like this. Come on, Isaac. You're the most creative person I know. This whole COVID situation stinks, and I feel that we creative types need to stick together. You know, enough talk. Call me back on FaceTime so I can see your feet. Okay. Maggie? What? Thanks for the rope. What rope? <clears throat> and the pitcher takes him out. <sighs> Slow and steady. Curveball, strike one. That one surely got the better off guard. <sighs> Let's see what he does next. Oh, time off from the ump. <clears throat> okay. Back to the plate. Batter tries to throw the pitcher off his game, but no can do. Two perfect outs already. Can you make it three? <sighs> Strike two. He needs one more pitch for the Immaculate Hank. Can he do it? <clears throat> he winds up. Strike three, an immaculate inning. Nine pitches in every single last one of them a strike. There is no doubt that the Saw Young Award is going to Donovan Fry. Oh, oh, the crowd goes crazy. Oh, they're carrying Fry on their shoulders. Oh, this is the day sportsmen are always going to remember. Hey, Sky, what's up? I was going to have a few friends over Friday night and wanted to know if you wanted to come by. This week? We are in a pandemic, right? No parties. It's not really a party, just a get-together. Oh, how many? 20 or 30, maybe. That is a party. And you sure your folks are okay with this? They suggested it. They said we've been cooped up all spring and we deserve to have some fun. Who's all coming? A bunch of kids from Madison and some from our school. Theater kids? I think Calvin's coming, but Therese said no. I don't understand what the big deal is. We've been in quarantine and now it's time for us to get back to normal. We'll be outside, unless it rings, of course. But the food, music, it'll be a lot of fun. You in? Friday is opening day. The mall's opening back up? No, baseball. The Indians are playing the Royals. Beavers pitching. With a 3.28 ERA with only eight games, number 57 is going to be hot. It's like you speak a foreign language, so is that a no? Sky, I just don't think having a party is the best idea you've come up with. What do you mean? You know, we're really not supposed to gather with more than 10 people, right? It's not safe. Will we be wearing masks? Huh, I'm not having a party with masks. No one wants to wear a mask if they don't have to. Yeah, I know that. I don't like wearing the masks either, but wearing the masks and not having huge parties does help to stop the spread. You're starting to sound like Tally. She's full of useless information. Does your grandfather still live with you? Sure, in the in-law suite. Is he still on oxygen? All the time. He doesn't breathe too well without it. Well, let's just say, hypothetically, someone comes to your party and they happen to be a carrier. And they give it to you and you give it to your grandfather. Mom said it'll be fine because Gramps isn't going to be at the party. Doesn't matter, Sky. If you get it, he can get it. Donnie, I'm tired of it all. Really, how long do we have to keep living like this? As long as it takes, I guess. I used to be popular. Everyone wanted to hang out with me at school. I used to have cool parties, had friends over, and went shopping. I just want that again. Sky, 
you don't have to go to parties or go shopping or anything like that to be popular and be liked for who you are. I never went to any of your dumb parties, and I certainly never went shopping with you, but I like you. You're sweet, funny, kind. You're actually nice to people in theater. Actually? Yeah, when you're not trying to be something that you're not. I thought that was the point of theater, to pretend to be something you're not. You know what I mean, when you're not just trying to be popular and you're just trying to be like for who you are. You think I'm talented? And smart and kind. You're not so bad yourself, Donovan Fry. So, no party, huh? You do what you want, Sky, but I don't think it's a good idea. I love my cramps, and I don't want him to get sick. It's hard sometimes trying to figure out what the right thing to do is because everyone has ideas of what you should or shouldn't do. To thine own self be true. What? You've got to make decisions based on what you know and what you're willing to live with. No regrets. I haven't called anyone else yet, so no party. Was I first on your list? I called all the theater kids first. I thought they didn't like me anymore because no one wanted to come. Sky, the theater kids love you. They just don't want to spread this virus. They love me? Really? Sure. Okay, listen. No party, but maybe one of these days we could go for a walk. Grab some takeout, have a picnic. Socially distance, of course. Maybe Calvin can come too, or maybe Sheena. Friday night? Thursday. <laughs> Not going to miss the Tribe game. So listen, when did Justin Bieber start playing baseball? I cannot believe we're going back to school next week. It is definitely not safe. There is absolutely no way that everyone's going to be able to stay six feet apart. Absolutely no way. I don't have enough hand sanitizer, real hand sanitizer, to go back. I don't know where to get any. Chase, he's working part-time at Dollar General. They might have some. Hello? How much hand sanitizer is there at Dollar General? Who is this? It's me, Bill. Caller ID, man. Just check your caller ID. Sorry, I was sleeping. You woke me up. It's 2 p.m. in the afternoon. <sighs> oh, I must have fallen asleep. I was taking an online test. Crap, I think I timed out. Was it that boring? No, I just haven't been getting that much sleep lately. Worried about catching the... Coronavirus? I am. No, working. I don't have time to worry. I have to get in as many hours as I can. My dad lost his job and we need the money to eat. Hand sanitizer, dude. When does it come in to Dollar General? Wednesdays, I think. Didn't you just order a case from Amazon earlier this summer? Are you out already? No, I still have it. I just want to be prepared for going back to school. You don't have to go back in person, you know. There's an online option. I gotta take the online option so I can keep working. I don't have to show up? Nope, you just fill out a form and give it to the guidance counselor. Yes, yeah, sir. No coronavirus for me. Online school's the way to be. I don't know what you're so happy about. I want to go back to school. Seriously, do you know your chances of catching the coronavirus if you go back? The risk of catching the coronavirus at school directly correlates with COVID-19 transmission rates in the immediate community and in the communities in which students, teachers, and staff live. Huh? Uh, did you, did hear, you that? hear that? Yeah, I think our community is good. There are tons of precautions the school is setting up, you know, small classes and masks and dividers. I don't think anybody's just going to walk in there and pick up the virus right away. Oh, but you don't know that. I think I'll stay safe in my own home. Have you been outside since March? I walk down my lane every day to get the mail, all the mail locks. I wear gloves and I use this grabber thing I swipe from my grandpa. It's pretty nifty, but not so good at picking up big cases of hand sanitizer. I make my little sister get those. Your little sister is like eight. Seven and a half, but she is strong. I make her wear gloves too, and then I spray her down with this homemade vinegar solution I found online. Vinegar? Well, I was using bleach, but she complained that it burned her skin, and bleach was easy to come by, my friend. 
So seriously, nowhere except the mailbox. Nope, not safe. I try very hard to stay away from my dad, too, since he actually goes out there. I wear the shield when I am in his presence. It's made out of plexiglass. Sounds crazy to me, but hey, whatever floats your boat. I would love to go back to school and at least be a student for a while. Working all the time is not so great. I just want to sit back and listen to the teacher instead of trying to take online tests and fill in all the gaps on my own. I want to see everyone, walk down the hallways, and play my tuba at the football games. Football? Tuba? Now you're talking crazy. Football is a contact sport. You might as well spit all over everyone. Are they going to wear masks? I'm sure the coaches and players are going to take every precaution they need. Well, the tuba is definitely out. I remember Tally telling me all about the tuba. Playing a wind instrument involves deep breathing, sometimes forceful exhalation, and possible aerosolization of the mucus in the mouth and nose, along with secretions from deeper airway structures. Yeah, it sounds gross, but band is outside, and being outside makes things better. I don't like germs on a good day, and now the cor coronavirus is the king daddy of all germs. I don't know, there could be worse things. The coronavirus is my arch enemy, and I will fight it by staying away and using hand sanitizer. What about the musical? That's just an outbreak waiting to happen. S-I-N-G-I-N-G. -G. Do I need to tell you the issues all about that? No, please don't. I really want to do the musical, but I don't know if I'll have time. I figured out how to fit in both jobs and online school, but I don't think I can throw in band and theater. I love band and theater. Two very unsafe pastimes, if you ask me. No one asked you. You know, I feel so sorry for you, Bill, locked up in your plexiglass house. Is it really worth missing out on living? Can't stay alive if I get the virus. <sighs> I gotta eat before my next shift at the winery. You know, people are really out there eating and playing their instruments and living. People are really out there dying. Don't forget that. Wednesday. Hand sanitizer comes in on Wednesday. I'll send my dad, or maybe my little sister. Do you guys sell vinegar, too? Life is short. That's what people tell me. Well, they don't actually tell me that. But I hear it everywhere. The world's a crazy place. Maggie Bear, eat your ice cream while you can. I don't particularly mind being stuck in quarantine or forbidden not to go anywhere. I'm content with my surroundings, and I feel comfortable in my own skin. As long as I stay connected, I'll be okay. Sometimes, I wonder why everyone is so worked up about this invisible virus that nobody can actually see. Well, at least not normal everyday people see it. I imagine scientists can see it, and that's how they came up with the image of a gray ball with clumps of red trees. <sighs> the only thing about being stuck in quarantine is thinking too much about how little things become big things viruses become pandemics and mean words become divorce and no longer able to see your doctor because of quarantine. You know, I could use some potato chips. Hey, Gertie girl, what's new with you? Maggie, I think we'll be able to go back to school. Like really go back to school, not online. Are, are you sure? No, of course not. Nobody is sure about anything right now. But that's what I heard from John's mom, who's friends with Abby's mom, who works at the newspaper and knows the editor's sister, who sometimes plays cards with this guy named Lou, who has a kid named Frank that goes to school in Madison. Maybe it's Barry. But anyways, Frank is close friends with the daughter of the superintendent's sister. I heard it from them that we were definitely not doing online schooling for the fall. <laughs> well, that's a definite then. Straight from the horse's mouth. Isn't that exciting? Yeah, I guess, but I have a feeling there will be tons of rules in place and it won't be like starting school last year. But getting up and getting dressed every day will be great. I'd have to get dressed. I know. Isn't that great? I kind of like going to school in my pajamas. I've done nothing and gone nowhere all summer. Yeah, me neither. Don't you do that back and forth thing, like going to one parent and then going to the other? No, I don't do the back and forth thing. COVID, remember? The family units don't count. Not a family unit anymore, Gertie. I'm sorry, Maggie. I didn't mean to bring up. 
But you did bring it up. I wonder if they'll let us sing. Huh? Choir. Tally said something about singing being one of the big ways the virus is spread. A study shows that singing, particularly loud and consonant rich singing, spreads a lot of aerosol particles and droplets into the surrounding air. Some droplets are so large that they only need a few decimeters from the mouth before they fall, whereas others are smaller and may continue to hover for hours. Mm, I hate it when she gets in my head. Don't you? Can't say she's really my favorite person. She's always just reminding us about too many things I don't want to think about or remember. Well, if we're going back to school, then I should be able to visit my grandma soon. I thought you hated visiting your grandma. I thought I did too, but the virus has changed the way I look at things, I think, like going to school and visiting grandma. Yeah, whoever would have thought we couldn't wait to go back to school again. I'm so excited. Pepper Alley's homecoming singing night and the musical, and you are definitely doing B&B in November. Gertie, stop with the definites. There are no definites anymore. Read my lips. I can't read your lips. I can't see you. You know what I mean. Don't get your hopes up. Your source could be wrong and we might have to endure online hell again. Don't say that. I want to look forward to something. I want to be excited about something. Look forward to the here and now. Hey, how about we call... Laurel, Donovan, and Calvin and see if they want to meet us in the park for a game of Frisbee. Can we touch a Frisbee? Like, can we all touch the same Frisbee? Some Clorox wipes and we're good to go. Where are we going to find Clorox wipes? Bill. Bill. Come on, Bill. We haven't rehearsed the scenes or songs in weeks. Don't lie. You've totally been rehearsing without us. Just a little. Singing is dangerous. Not in the confines of your own home, it's not. Tell me, Vince, do you live alone? No. The parents, the sibs. No one uses the word sibs. Not alone? Therefore, every time you sing, you are putting your sibs at risk. Don't you start now. Okay, Bill, we don't have to sing. Seriously, Drumakin, how many times a week do you rehearse your lines? A week? Uh-oh. A day. You mean you practice every day? Just a couple hours. What is wrong with you? Your house is probably full of germs. I don't sing for two hours, just one. You can't strain my vocal cords. Oh my goodness, whatever you do, don't strain your vocal cords. Does your family know what you are doing? What? I repeat, does your family know what you are doing? Bill, the guy's singing. It's not like he's... I don't know, keeping a girl hidden in his closet. <laughs> keeping a girl in my closet? Yeah, never. I would never, ever have a girl in my closet. All right. All right. Well, I'm trying to be serious. Now, Vince, it is your responsibility to let your parents know that you are singing every day. H hang on, hang on, wait. You have a girl in your closet? No. What's in your closet? Nothing. What's in your closet? Take it to your closet. No. It really does seem like you're hiding something. I'm not hiding anything. How could I have a girl in my closet during COVID? I said, let's see. Open the door. It's right behind you. That's the bathroom. That's a closet. If that's a bathroom, I hope you have cleaned it. I really don't want to see a dirty bathroom. Uh, yeah, you're right. My closet's too dirty. I cannot show it to you. I don't really mind messing closets. As a matter of fact, I'm one of the messiest known to mankind. Now show me your closet. I really don't want to see a dirty closet either. Really? Dirty closets give me nightmares. Really? Yeah, my therapist says it has to do with my need to control my environment. Well, I'm sure you have a clean closet. You could eat off the walls. That's stupid. If you're gonna eat off the walls, and you'd have to attach food on the walls like spaghetti or something and slurp it off. Then your walls would be dirty. Okay, nice try, lover boy. But I still want to see your closet. I don't. Okay, Bill here is gonna shut his eyes, and you are gonna open that closet. Hey, no fair, you have to keep the camera on. 
I hope he's not going to sing. Why would he sing? Because some people sing in the dark. See? No girl in the closet. No spaghetti on the walls. Not too terribly dirty. You remove the contraband. I couldn't have moved the girl out of there that fast. Maybe not, but you definitely moved something out of there. I'm going to find out what. Hey, Gertie just texted me asking if she got a package of my wipes. Oh, yeah, we're playing Frisbee. You're playing Frisbee with Gertie? And Mags. I think Donovan's coming, too. You want to come? Absolutely. Positively not. Definitely was not asking you. Is anybody else going to be there? No, nah, not that I know of. We still have to keep it under 10. I'd like to ask Sheena. She's still around? I, I thought with college and all... The smart colleges are going online. I guess she's in a smart college because her first semester is all online. That stinks. Well, for her, I mean. I know. I mean, she really was counting on getting out of the town. I'm, I'm glad she's going to be around, though. That way she can still do the play. We are not going to do the musical. How many times do I have to tell you this? It would be a COVID nightmare. Like the one in your closet. That is classified information, and I'd appreciate it if you did not share that at your Frisbee game. <laughs> like, I really want to share your issues in public. Nobody cares. I care, Bill. I always care. Then you better care about your family and stop the singing. You should come with us. It'll do you some good. I doubt my parents will let me. They're a bit concerned about the spread of disease. And they're not concerned about all the singing you are doing in their house? <sighs> Billy boy, the, the boy's been nowhere. So he doesn't have COVID, so he can sing all he wants in the confines of his own home. His own closet. That's right. We didn't finish about the closet, now did we? I, I can ask to, to go to, to the first... Oh, yeah. I think Laurel's coming, too. I think she has a crush on you. Laurel has a, has a crush? On me? Six people playing frisbee on a coronavirus afternoon. That's it? No one else from theater? <laughs> That's plenty. You can't handle too many theater types. Ruin our reputation. You, you are a theater type. Okay, okay. Let's stop with all the gabbing. Billy Boy, have those wipes handy. I'll be by to pick them up in ten. Ten wipes. That's all you're getting. Oh, come on. I'm sure you at least have a case. Three, actually. But the ones from Australia still have to sit for another week. Okay. If you don't give me a full container of Clorox wipes, I will personally come over to your house and sing as loud as I can without a mask. Oh, leave it in the mailbox. Just please use gloves. Sure thing. Vince, go ask the parents. Um, um okay. I'll, I'll ask, but... I doubt they'll let me. Signing off. Later, dude. And please stop the singing. Gotta keep you somewhere where the sips can't find you. I just feel like I'm growing up too fast. I get that. I feel like I'm stuck in between this world and my next world. Sheena, you sound like you're on your way out of this world. You know that's not what I meant. It's, you have to work two jobs and go to online schooling. And it like, makes you feel like you just can't be a student anymore. Yeah. I'm going to miss all the things I love, like band and theater and choir. I'm just not going to have time. Yeah. See, I have to work and go to online schooling. I was supposed to be like at the campus. I'm supposed to be actually away from here. You know... I really am going to miss all the things I've been working towards all these years. We just don't have any choices. Not really. Everyone has taken our choices away. The virus has taken our choices away. I don't want to talk about the virus anymore. It's taken everything. I don't want it to invade my conversations as well. Are you working at the winery this weekend? Yep, all weekend. Are you? Of course. Thank goodness they're still open. Dad's plant might go back up full time next month, but they've had a lot of trouble getting supplies in from their vendors. I'm so sorry, Chase. No, it's all good. I'm glad to help my family. I really am. 
I know they would do anything for me, so I guess it's my chance to help them too. I just don't really talk to them about what I miss, so it's really nice that I have you guys here to talk to about it. Um, listen, do you think we have to work homecoming weekend? Of course. There's probably not even going to be a homecoming. And you graduated, remember? Well, you haven't. Let's make a date. Maybe not to go to homecoming, but we could do something that weekend. Maybe go to Nelson Ledges. It's still nice in October sometimes. Are you asking me out? Yeah, I guess I am. We have to have things to look forward to, Chase. We just have to. I don't think the adults of the real world get this. Sheena, I think you're officially an adult. <laughs> no, I just like to think I am. I think adults have more control. <laughs> no, they don't. Seriously, are we back on this topic again? Don't get me started. Adults have absolutely no control right now. They can't make decisions worth a damn, and we look to them to guide us, but they're not even sure what to do. It's the blind leading the blind. I mean, look how long it took them to make a decision about school. And it's not even a real decision. It's like 13 different options. The government's no better. It's okay to have political rallies of over 200 people breathing all over, breathing all over each other, but we can't even have a high school musical for 50 people. No one wants to step up to the plate and be a leader. So where does that leave us? Yeesh, tell me how you really feel. Sorry, Sheena, I didn't mean to get all dramatic on you. Yeah, for a second I thought you were Vince. I just didn't know that growing up was going to be this hard. I get that. Everything you said is true, Chase, but don't give up. Just keep on keeping on. Let's be like Maggie and just be creative. <laughs> Better than being like Bill. Oh, speaking of, Isaac told me he barricaded himself in his room. That's not good. How's he going to eat? Apparently, he's been stockpiling cans of food in his closet. That doesn't seem to be very hygienic to me. What about the bathroom? He has one attached to his bedroom. I guess his parents have been trying to talk him out of there for a couple of days now. If he keeps this up, he's going to make the evening news. <laughs> or, hey, listen, I have to run. I have my first online college class in about 15 minutes. Online? How exciting. It's not like actually being there in person, but I'll have to make the best of it. That's all we can do, right? Just make the best of it? Yes, and not barricade ourselves in our rooms. Let's figure out who all is going back. Me. Definitely me. Me. Okay, we all know that we're going back. We need to figure out who else is going back, who else is not going back, but doing online work. Um, Chase is definitely online, and he doesn't even know if he could do the musical because of work. No, Chase, that's terrible. Yeah, I heard the same. Anybody know about Sky? Oh, Sky's coming back for sure. Good. Listen, guys, if you do see her, can you just tell her she matters? She's been having a rough go of it. I heard she was having a party. She she didn't. She thinks all the theater kids hate her, and she just wants to fit in. Of course. Well, Matt. Maggie's in. I'm not sure about Vince. His parents might make him stay online, but I know nothing will keep him from doing the show. Bill's a no. How's he doing? Is he still barricaded? Yeah, and he's not talking to anyone. He thinks it's just better if everyone stays away from him. Hey, everyone deals with it differently. Or doesn't deal with it at all. Should we, like, call him or something? I tried. So did Calvin and Vince, but he's not answering. Maybe Maggie should try. She's good at that type of thing. I'm sure she could try, but I don't know. Well, who else? Gertie, Calvin, and I think Zoe. Colin. Sheena? Oh, she, she's doing college classes online, but she'll be fine for rehearsal. Tally? Oh, that girl follows us everywhere. There's no getting rid of her. Yeah, let's not talk about her. I need some help understanding my schedule. Now we're doing this weird thing called hybrid? I thought that was a type of car. It's like a combination or a mixture. It says that the alphabet is split in half, so that half of us will be going on Monday and Tuesday, and the other half on Thursday and Friday. What about Wednesday? Uh, cleaning and pl planning. I am not cleaning. I don't mind cleaning, so you do the planning. I don't think it's for us. Then who's it for? Do both parts of the alphabet clean? Or... 
Well, I don't know. It doesn't say. Well, I don't think it's all about the alphabet. I know someone who is an R, but she's coming on Monday and Tuesday with her cousin Samantha. Oh, no can do. Samantha starts with an S. Well, I thought it was the last name. If it's my last name, then I have to come on Thursday and Friday. And Wednesday if you're planning. I don't want. I don't like planning either. I hope they'll let us plant in the senior courtyard. It really needs brightening up. Wait, wait, wait. So this is the day of the week for planting? Yeah, Thursdays and Fridays. Peas are Thursdays and Fridays. Unless you have a relative on Monday and Tuesday. Well, relative is R, Thursdays and Fridays. Well, no, 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 no. If you come in Thursday and Friday, but your ride comes in Monday and Tuesday, then you just come in Monday and Tuesday and you're exempt from Thursday and Friday. Well, that's not really fair. What if your ride comes in on Thursday and Friday? Well, I think then you can come on Thursday and Friday. My last name begins with the letter T. I'm already coming on Thursday and Friday. Okay, so we only have two days of school. No, I think there's Zoom classes on Wednesday. How are we supposed to clean and plant and do Zoom classes? Are we going to be carrying around a Chromebook? No can do. They're in China still. What are you talking about? Well, I heard that the Chromebooks, they got ordered sometime in July, and the guy who was supposed to deliver them got stuck on some ship somewhere, and he put spyware on all the computers, but they can't fix it because the ship can't go on land, and I don't know, we're, we're not getting the Chromebooks till November. Okay, but we do have our phones and computers. Can't we just use those? I'm sure if you have Wi-Fi, which you obviously do. But not everyone has a computer. What are they supposed to do while the amphibians debug the Chromebooks? Amphibians? I thought we were talking about China. Well, never mind. I guess if you have to get a Chromebook, then you'll have to just sign one out like we did in the spring. What about Chase? When does he do his classes if he's online? Anytime he wants, I think. What about sports and theater? Soccer's still meeting every day, I think. Rehearsals haven't been posted yet. Football already started practicing. Well, if you're going to school on Thursday and Friday because your last name begins with a T... And Wednesday for planting. Well, and Wednesday for planting then I think you can just come on Monday and Tuesday to go to your sport. Yes, but you don't have to go all day. Right, so, okay, I'm a little confused. I come in Monday and Tuesday. And Wednesday for planting, unless you want to clean. Yeah, planting's fine. Okay, I come in Monday and Tuesday, but I could come in Thursday, Friday if I have a sport or, like, if the musical starts back up again. Sounds about right. You can also switch to online at any time if you don't like how your classes are going. Really? If we don't like our classes, we can just go online? Yeah, I heard it's part of the hybrid thing. We are wearing masks to school, right? And social distancing. Well, wait, what about lunch? Outside, maybe. What about the winter? And choir? Are we going to be allowed to sing? Maybe outside. I, I just don't know how we're going to rehearse a musical. Outside? Is it even safe to be going back? School closure disrupts the delivery of in-person instruction and critical services to children and families, which has negative individual and societal ramifications. The best available evidence from countries that have opened schools indicates that COVID-19 poses low risk to school-aged children, at least in areas with low community transmission, and suggests that children are unlikely to be major drivers of the spread of the virus. Reopening schools creates opportunities to invest in the education, well-being, and future of one of America's greatest assets, our children, while taking every precaution to protect students, teachers, staff, and all their families. I seriously hate it when she does that. Same. Me too. Ditto. Yeah, Aunt Kaki, I know, but why can't I talk to her? Well, just tell her that I love her and that I hope she gets better soon. You'll call me, right? As soon as I can talk to her. Hi, Vince. What? What's wrong? I was trying to talk to my grandma, but they moved her to a respirator. Uh, I'm sorry, Gertie. I, I thought she was getting better. She was. I just want to go back. I want to go back before all of this. I just want to do over. Yeah, everyone does. I don't want to go back to school. Not anymore. Gertie, you, you have to go back. You were going to school doesn't change what's happening with your grandmother. I know, but anybody can get it and pass it on to someone else. That could be anywhere. I know you, and I know you'll be better if you go back to school. Are you going back? I'm still trying to convince my parents that I'm allowed to go back safely. See, even your parents don't want to risk you getting infected. Well, my parents also don't want me to drive, stay up past nine, or 
cross the street by myself. My parents said I can decide. Actually, they seem flustered with the whole thing. Like, they really don't know what to do. And did you see the schedule? It's kind of confusing. I think I understand most of it, but Bridget was telling me about some planting thing, and she just doesn't make any sense. She gets frazzled pretty easily. She's always worried about her mom. Everyone is worried about someone. Except Calvin. Calvin is not as cold and calculated as you might think. Of course he is, and we like him that way. So, listen. I, I need some advice. From me? Yeah. If I wanted to, like, make a special day for someone, how, how would I do that? What are you talking about? Like, for your mom? No, oh, definitely not for my mom. If I like someone. A girl or a boy? Definitely a girl. Who? I am not at liberty to say. You practiced that line, didn't you? I am not at liberty to say. Okay, well, it's kind of hard to ask someone out in the middle of a pandemic. I know, right? That's what makes it so bad. Do I know her? I am not at liberty to say. Okay, well, what is she like? Theater. Yeah, no Hamilton tickets right now. Not even Cats tickets. Anything else? Yeah, but if I tell you, you're gonna know and then tell her. Can't you just give me generic information? Generic information? Ah, yes. Girls love it when you try to figure out generic information about them. Okay, forget I said anything. Flowers, chocolates, dinner, walks along the beach, picnics, sunsets. Really? Is, is that for real? Romance, Vince. That's for real. I thought it was just in the movies. Well, if it were me. And just to be clear, it is definitely not you. I'm gonna pop a girl's bubble. Gertie, you're like a sibling to me. What do you mean a sister? Um, a sister is a sibling. Nobody uses the word sibling. You were saying? I would want someone that would make me laugh and talk me down off the edge when I feel crazy. He would take my, mi my mind off this crazy world for a while. He'd walk with me and hold my hand. He'd know I like daisies and text me just to say good morning. Got it. Okay. Laughing, daisies, walking, holding hands, texting good morning. Yeah, I guess any girl would like that stuff. Vince, you don't have to make a show of this, you know. You tend to be overly dramatic, and a girl doesn't always need a song and dance. A girl just wants you to be yourself. I'm just worried that I won't be enough. Are you kidding me? You're enough. You're more than enough. Don't sweat this. You got it. Thank you for believing in me. Gertie, everything's gonna be okay. You don't know that. No, I don't, but I want everything to be okay for you. Me too. The COVID-19 pandemic and the resulting economic recession have negatively affected many people's mental health and created new barriers for people already suffering from mental illness and substance use disorders. Three days, they have finally left me alone. I am safe here. Wipes, hand sanitizer, plexiglass, shields, masks, gloves, Lysol, Clorox, chloroquine. I cannot be any safer. I am surrounded by all the stuff that everybody wants. I don't have to talk to one anymore. They don't understand. No one understands. This is the only way that I can have control. Wipes, hand sanitizer, plexiglass, shield, mask, gloves, Lysol, Clorox, chloroquine, mask, wipes, hand sanitizer, plexiglass, shields, gloves, Lysol, Clorox, 
chloroquine, wipes, hand sanitizer, plexiglass, shields, mask, gloves, Lysol, Clorox, chloroquine. I have it all. I have it all. It's not what I thought school that is. No, it feels, I don't know, strange. I'm finding it hard going from being in the middle of my junior year and then suddenly I'm a senior. There was no transition. And my safe group is gone. Most of my friends are in a different part of the alphabet. Mine too. I don't know if this is working. I guess it doesn't matter if it's working or not. As with the rest of our lives, we have no control, so we might as well suck it up, buttercup, and do what must be done. Did you hear about Laurel? Yep. Do you think she'll be okay? I hope so. They say it's not as bad for young people. A minority of children experience a post-infectious inflammatory syndrome, the pathology and long-term outcomes of which are poorly understood. However, relative to their risk of contracting disease, children and adolescents have been disproportionately affected by lockdown measures and advocates of child health need to ensure that children's rights to health and social care, mental health support, and education are protected throughout subsequent pandemic waves. There goes Tally again. I wish she would shut up. Frankly, I'm tired of listening to her. Who's not coming to the Zoom gathering? Is that what we're calling it? A gathering? A meeting, I guess. We're supposed to talk about the possibility of not doing the show. Hey, is that for real? Are we really not doing the show? You heard about Laurel, right? Of course I did. So that's why we're not doing it? No, not at all. That's not the reason. Hey, guys, did you hear about Laurel? Yes, everyone has heard about Laurel. She's fine. Well, she's not fine. She is COVID and so do her parents. She'll be fine, I'm sure. You always say that. You always say everyone will be fine when you have no idea if they'll be fine or not. Well, I want them to be fine. I want Laurel to be fine. We all want her to be fine. I don't think we can do the musical because there's too much contact. We can't change that. We don't want to have to do the show in masks and change all the blocking, so we are postponing it one more time. This is not the news everyone wants to hear. Where is everyone? Everyone was invited. Hello, thespians. Why the long faces? Is Laurel okay? Poor Maggie's, poor Laurel's sick. I know, but did she get any worse? Not that we know of. Hey, hey guys, um, any news on Laurel? I really wish everyone showed up on time and we wouldn't have to repeat ourselves. Laurel still has COVID, but she's not in any danger at the moment. Well, that's good, but... I'm really more worried about Bill. Is he still in his room? I've been calling nonstop every hour for the past 16 hours. He's not talking. Does he talk to his parents? Yeah, he just won't let him in his room. He just can... likes it better if everyone stays away. What can we do? Well, going to his house is probably out. Oh, no. That would just send him into more panic. Shouldn't his parents call the police or something? I think they don't feel that he's a danger to anyone or himself and that he'll just get over it. I think it's a bit extreme myself. No kidding. I think we have to do something, or his parents do. Can't we make his parents get him some help? We have no we control. Donovan, have you talked to his parents? Yeah, they said that he's fine. It's just typical Bill. We need to have an intervention. Well, it's kind of hard to have an intervention without, you know, the person you're having the intervention for. Okay. Does he have a window in his room? Oh, shades. Try it. I say we just keep calling. Well, what time do you call? Last time was seven. I call at the top of the hour. I'll take the half hour. I can call at 7.15. 7.45. So, you guys think if you call him every 15 minutes, he'll just answer the phone? He's going to turn it off. He has to know we care. Well, what about Laurel? What about her? 
Can't she still zoom? He recommends that COVID patients have complete rest, especially in the first 48 hours, so as not to develop worsening symptoms, including cardiomyopathy. I am going to throw something at her. Can we choke her? What about Gertie? What about her? Oh, yeah. Her grandma's not doing well. Has she heard anything? I can't believe this. We just got so many problems. Laurel, Bill, Gertie. They're going to be okay. Stop saying that. They have to be. They just have to be okay. This is a rather unusual request. I really appreciate everyone meeting with me. I know, especially coming from you, Chase. That's what friends are for. What did you need to talk to us about? Yeah, this seems more like something coming from the drama king. I feel like I'm being a little dramatic. Don't start with that, man. Come on. I could, I could use a little bit of drama. Is Bill coming? Is Maggie coming? Still barricaded and not talking to anyone. I heard she finally had a visit with her dad. I thought you were going to check up on him. It's about time. I can't believe she had to wait that long. I am after this weird meeting Chase called. I don't well, think she had to wait. I think she's been angry over the situation. Okay, so I asked you guys here to help me figure out about Sheena. All right, I called you guys here to help me figure out what to do about Chase. What about Sheena? What about Chase? Well, she asked me on a date. I think I might have asked him on a date. Seriously? You think? You don't know? That doesn't sound like Sheena. You like Chase? She specifically said the words, let's make a date. I said the words, let's make a date. That means nothing. She did not ask you on a date. And he accepted? <sighs> I thought this meeting was about something important, not the pathetic status of your love life. Oh, Sheena, this is really important. I'm so glad we're talking about this. Love is important. Love is important. This is getting a little mushy for me. You're in love with Chase? It's okay to be mushy sometimes. I asked him out, but I don't feel that way about him. I said yes, but I don't really feel that way about her. So why did you ask him out? In what way? Well, it was in the moment, you know? You know what way. Well, do you think he likes you that way? Listen, man, I'm telling you, she's definitely not in you that way. I don't know. I don't... I shouldn't have asked him out. Then why would she ask me out? Does he know it's just a friend thing? I heard Vince had, like, a girl in his closet. Maybe you like him more than you think you do. I mean, I know for a fact that Vince has a girl in his closet. Okay, so if a girl asking you on a date really isn't asking you on a date, well then, what is it? Well, you know, when I said the word sluts to make a date, I meant to plan something positive in the future, not like a romance thing. Are you doing research? How did he react? Maybe I am. Well, he said, are you asking me out? And I said, yeah, I guess I am. So the four of you are pretty certain that Sheena does not really have feelings for me? Oh no, you definitely have feelings for him. Well, did she say she had feelings for you? To be honest, I thought you liked Calvin. No. Calvin? We're like brother and sister. What was the context of this conversation? Oh, don't get me started on how guys like to go, oh, but you're just a sister to me. Sick of that. Really. We were talking about homecoming. I know, right? They always pull that one out of the air when it's close to homecoming. I didn't think there was going to be homecoming. Is there going to be homecoming? I really wish there was going to be a homecoming. No, you might get sick, remember? Well, more sick than you already are. Love sick. And that's how I got into this mess. It's, you know, I know he's been working really hard, and I've just been tired of being by myself, so I wanted to do something fun. Where exactly are you going on the stage? You know, I thought it'd be a good idea to go to Nelson Ledges. Nelson Ledges? Ooh, that's a really nice place. Romantic in the fall. That's a great idea. Nelson Lunges. I love going to Nelson Lunges. Great idea for what? Your mystery girl? So, do you need to talk to him to tell him that you don't really like him that way? Seriously, man, you gotta talk to her and tell her you don't like her that way. But I think she does like him. Well, are you sure you don't like her? Well, I do like him. He's sweet and hardworking, but I'm older and just starting college. 
maybe now isn't the right time to just go and start a relationship. It's just a date, not necessarily a relationship. Who said anything about a relationship? I don't have time for a relationship. Do I just go? Listen, man, I just I'm, I'm pretty sure she's not into you that way anyway. He must be interested in you if he said yes. Do you like her? But the real question is, is if he likes her. I do. She's smart and kind and hardworking, but I don't think I like like her. I don't even know if I like like him. This stuff is so stupid. I hate trying to figure out girls. It's really hard trying to figure out guys. Me too. I wish we had instructions. <laughs> what is there to figure out? She asked him out, so the rest seems like a no-brainer to me. I think maybe I should just go. I guess I'll just go and figure out the rest later. Don't break his heart, Sheena. He's a really good guy. Not sure if that's such a great idea. I mean, do you want to hurt her if she is interested in you? I would never hurt him. Of course I don't want to hurt her. Good. I like Chase. N not like that, of course. Why can't a guy and a girl just go out and have fun? Why do, have why do there have to be all these rules about dating and like like and going out? It's not fair that we always have to try and guess what a guy is thinking or what he wants or expects from us. If he likes us as a sister or if he really truly likes us for who we are. Okay, lover boy, spill the beans. Who is the girl you like like? If he likes like us. Wait, you don't know? I bet sometimes they don't know if they like us or not either. You know? Yeah, they're probably just as confused as us. Know what? Your final verdict, ladies. Do I go or do I find a way out? Guys, I need help here. Do I go or do I make an excuse not to go? Well, don't just find a way out because that's not nice. Well, if you're not going to go, at least have the decency to be honest with her. Do you want to go to Nelson Ledges or not? Chase, do you want to go with her to Nelson Ledges? Well, yes, I do. Yes. Then that's your answer. <laughs> then, then go. go. You should go. Bad idea. Just go. Why? I would go. Listen, man, I'm out of here. I gotta go check up on our favorite germaphobe. I'll go. I gotta get out of here soon, too. I'm glad we figured this out. What just happened? Me too. Thank you guys, really. I'm glad I called you. I think your problem just got a little bit bigger. Finally, something we can solve. What do you mean? Yeah, relationship problems are a lot easier to solve than the coronavirus. Calvin likes Sheena. He like likes her. Don't be so sure about that. Oh, why is this stuff so confusing? What do you mean? Well, with or without coronavirus, teenage relationships are always going to be this confusing. I'm just saying, relationships can be confusing sometimes. I wish we had all the answers like girls do. We probably spend too much time thinking about it. Yeah, they don't have to read between the lines. I doubt the guys stress over it as much as we do. Well, no, because they write the lines. It's a lot easier for them. Agreed. The girls have it much easier. Guys probably don't even think twice when it comes to relationships. Sick of this stupid virus that isn't even real. What's real is how crazy it's made everyone. How crazy it's made my friends. I just want my life back. No, no masks, no social distancing, no worrying about stupid stuff anymore. I'm tired of tallying our stupid information and st stupid media and the stupid government and stupid people telling me what I can and cannot do. I don't want to Zoom with my friends. I, I want to see their smiles. Not their stupid color-coordinated masks. I want to hug them. Be close to them. Not stand six stupid feet apart from them. I want to tell her in person, not over the, the stupid phone, the stupid, stupid, stupid virus. Ah! Bill? Are you outside my window? Yeah, but I can't see you. Open up your shades. Why are you screaming? I don't know. I'm, I'm fed up. Are you okay? No. Open up your shades. Kelvin, I can't do this anymore. 
I know. You got to come out of that room. You don't understand, Calvin. I am tired of being afraid. Then stop being afraid. You don't know how to stop. Calvin, I'm afraid of so many things. Listen, are your parents home? Can I come inside? No, it's not a good, good idea for you to come in. What? Are you afraid I'm going to sing? Calvin is out there. I mean, Donovan's out there. Really? So that's great. So you let Donovan in, but you won't even let me in. I didn't let him in. He broke in. Calvin, I can't do this anymore. I know. You shouldn't do this anymore. You don't understand. I'm tired. I just want it to be over. We all want it to be over. But I can make it be over. What are you talking about? I'm going to knock on the front door. Bill, Bill, you need to come out now. Stay with me, Calvin. Yeah. I, I called some people to help you. Donovan, I'm outside the window. If, if you can even hear me. He can't hear you. Well, then tell him I'm outside the window. Donovan, Calvin's outside the window. What? Calvin? He, he, he's on the phone. Oh, well, that's good. You answered your phone? I called him. Why'd you call Calvin? Why can't he call me? I'm his friend, too, you know. Hey, I'm not a longer. That doesn't matter. Hey, guys, I hate to interrupt your argument, but I think Donovan called the police, and I think they're going to bust down my door. You can hear me? It's the rational thing to do. So I don't have a lot of time. I just want to put an end to this. What do you mean, put an end to this? I've been thinking a lot about it, and I just don't see any reason t to keep going on. Oh, Bill, please, just wait until help gets here. Wait, Bill, why did you call me? Because you don't think it's real. You're not afraid of anything. I'm, I'm afraid too, Bill. What are you afraid of? Lots of things. Yeah, Calvin, what, what are you afraid of? I'm afraid of... of escalators. Escalators? Yeah, escalators. We've, we've been on escalators with you before. You've never mentioned it. Well, just because I'm afraid of something doesn't mean I gotta tell everyone. But I'm supposed to be your friend. You are my friend. Thanks, Calvin. Thanks, Donovan. Tell everyone I said that. Okay, 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 listen. I'm afraid I won't pass my classes. I'm afraid I'll look stupid because I, I just don't. I just don't get academic things. I'm afraid the girl I, I care about won't even give me the time of day. I'm afraid my friend Bill is going to do something he just... He can't take back. Come on, Bill. Don't be stupid. Calvin can't stand stupid people. I'm just so tired. I know. You need to help. You need to talk to someone. Everyone. Everyone needs to talk to someone. You can't bottle this crap up for too long or else it'll just... Explode. He's you right. Know. He's right. He, we let you handle this too long on your own. Bill? Are you there? Bill? I, I'm here. I'm just afraid of going outside. You're not going to do this alone. Yeah, we're here with you, Bill. Bill? You, you guys will stay with me when they get here. Of course we will. Yeah, Bill. We're not going anywhere. Bill, are you there? Bill! 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 Okay, Calvin. Yeah? You, your fear of escalators. Yeah. Are you taking steps to avoid them? <sighs> hey, how are you feeling? Better. Still tired, though. We were a little worried about you. I'm good, and so is my mom. Dad is still in the hospital. Will you come back to school soon? Maybe next week. We have a rehearsal for a new show. It's very creative. No Beauty and the Beast? Maybe in the spring. I like the new show. It's different. Can I still be in it, do you think? There's a part for you already. Really? Hey, did you hear about Bill? Yeah, is he doing okay? 
Yeah, now that people are listening to him instead of ignoring him. We didn't ignore him. Well, I'm glad he's better. Is he still afraid of all the germs? Isn't everyone? Hey, guys, look. Isaac's on the other line. We have some scenes to rehearse. I'll catch you guys later. Laurel, good to have you back. At least on Zoom again. Thanks, Maggie. So, Vince, how have you been handling everything? Pretty great, now that I have an active show. Still playing the major in theater? Sure, why not? I'll just minor in engineering like the rest of the world, so that way I have something to fall back on during the next plague. I can't wait to go back outside. Laurel, listen, I know you're recuperating and all, but I need to talk to you about something. Sounds serious. <clears throat> not really, well, well, yeah, it is kind of. I just need to make sure that you're okay with something. It's, it's something Calvin told me. Calvin? Uh, yeah, you know, snarky guy with a bit of hero streak in him. What about him? He said that you, I mean, he said that you maybe, perhaps you. Yes? Uh, Wait, hang on, there's Zoe. Zoe? Oh, no. Can I answer it? Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Hey, Laurel, how are you doing? Oh, hi, Vince. I didn't know you were here. Hi, Zoe. Just checking to see how you're doing, Laurel. Maggie said you were Zooming again. I'm good. Well, kind of worried about my dad. Is he still in the hospital? Yeah, but he's probably going to be getting out soon. Everything happens so fast. It makes you appreciate life more. Listen, maybe I just... Oh, no, Vince. I'm sorry. What were you saying? Saying? Oh, um, I don't, I don't remember. You said Calvin told you something? I'm so glad Calvin and Donovan showed up to Bill's house when they did. Who knows what would have happened had they not been there. I heard that Bill actually called Calvin. He did. He must have known that Calvin would be there for him. I, I better get going. What did Calvin say to you? Say? I, you said Calvin told you something about me? Uh, about you? Despite Calvin's heroic deeds, he is a prankster, don't forget. But he said that he- He said what? Um... Oh, private conversation? Uh, no, 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 don't go. I was... Good to see you well, Laurel. We'll talk soon. Are you coming back next week? I think so. See you around. Bye, Vince. Vince, I'm kind of tired. What did you want to talk to me about? Uh, Laurel, Laurel, I'm really sorry if you like me. I, I like you too, but... I had a feeling for someone else, and Calvin said you had a crush on me, but... I don't feel that way about you, but I really do care about you as a friend. I do. But I don't want to ruin your feelings. And if I ask someone out, I'm really sorry, but I really I really do want to be friends with you. I just like someone else. I don't have a crush on you. Really? Really. I'm going to kill Calvin. Who is she? I am not at liberty. It's okay. Everything's good. We'll always be friends. Don't worry so much. Life is too short to worry so much. Thank you, Laurel. I really am glad you're better, and I hope your dad is out of the hospital soon. <laughs> Me too. Oh, Vince, before you go, you should know that Calvin has a crush on Sheena. I think we pretty much figured that one out. Good. Bye, Vince. I think I'm going to kill Calvin, too. <laughs> this is utterly ridiculous. How can they have a ceremony at the Rose Garden with over a hundred people, and yet we can't even have a musical with an audience of 47 people? How many times do I have to tell you to stop listening to Tally? She always makes things worse. They were outside anyway. Well, I know they were outside. So how many people were at baseball this year? And that was outside. Well, we have fans, the cardboard ones. Well, where were the cardboard fans at the Rose Garden? Depends on what you mean by cardboard okay well we did you see the pictures of how close together everyone was standing we are not even allowed to sit next to each other in class most of them weren't even wearing masks how was that allowed you're missing the point isaac there was an outbreak that's why we have to wear masks that's why we can't gather in crowds mm -hmm. and that's why we wear these masks <sighs> It just infuriates me that the government can do whatever the hell it likes, but when we follow all of the rules and socially distance, all we get are cardboard cutouts. I was one of the cutouts. You what? 
Yeah, it was a birthday present for my dad. Uh, I had to cut out all the games. Really? How much did one of them things cost? That's like a hundred bucks. Less than an actual game ticket, actually. We get no pep rally. We get no audience. We get no choir concert. We get no coronavirus. Okay, again, do we have to talk about the coronavirus? I'm so sick of talking about this stupid virus. I thought we were planning our bonding event. It's kind of hard to bond when all you get are cardboard cutouts. No, we'll play games. It'll be fun. Well, we can't play board games or card games because everybody would be touching all the pieces. Outdoors is best. No, baseball. I didn't say anything about baseball. He's still upset about the longest game in history. The, nine, the longest nine-inning game in history, and Brad Hand loses his only save of the season. Is he a batter or a pitcher? He's a pitcher, a closer. A pitcher with the name of Hand. That's pretty clever. It's because he hands everyone the ball. He doesn't hand anyone the ball. He pitches it. Apparently, not very well. Please don't try to teach us about baseball again. Back to our bonding games. Well, I vote for Twister. Um, no. What's wrong with Twister? Can we get any closer? Okay. Yeah, croquet sounds fun. Well, Twister is fun too. Yeah, Twister is lots of fun. See? Perfect for bonding. You were just complaining about the government having its coronavirus spreading ceremony. And now you want to play Twister? With my closest friends. They are in my bubble. I am not in your bubble, man. Well, croquet is for old people. Isaac, we played croquet when we were younger. Well, okay. Old people and children. Can we combine the two games to make it croquet Twister? Well, we can't really play Twister. What is wrong with you people? Nothing has changed. The virus is still spreading and our lives are not normal yet. Well, maybe we can make our lives normal by doing normal things. We do normal things. We go to school. We are having a play. Sports are happening. There is nothing normal about school or the play or sports. People don't even, we didn't have the grape jamboree this year and people didn't even have weddings or funerals, but they can have a freaking unnecessary ceremony almost sitting on each other's laps at the Rose Garden. And now those people are sick. Including the president. Okay, it's fun. We could wear masks, be outside, and still be distanced. Well, we can wear masks while playing Twister. We cannot play Twister. Well, I want to play Twister. Fine. Go play Twister by yourself then, Isaac. Can we combine the two at least? Uh, that's a possibility. As long as everybody does the twister portion by themselves. Croak twist. Croaker. Twisket. What about the rules? Who needs rules? Every game needs rules. Oh, that's easy. We'll play like the government and we'll make up our own rules. I know everyone complains about how different school is now, but I'm really glad to be back. It's not normal or anything, but I get to see some of my friends and we're rehearsing for this new play for theater. We're trying to make things work. It's funny, everyone wears the real mask on their face and all those pretend masks are gone now. Mine is. I don't feel like I have to pretend to be someone I'm not. I can have my own opinions and everyone still like me for me. I don't know why I didn't know this before coronavirus. Maybe it made me get real. Maybe it makes everyone look at their life and try to figure out what's important to them. I have my friends and family and that's important to me. Oh, hey Sheena. Hey, Sky. How are college classes coming? They're okay. Not too hard yet. Listen, I came to call everyone and tell them about Gertie. Is she okay? Did she get the virus? She's okay, but her grandmother died this morning. Oh no, that's terrible. Her grandmother had the virus, right? Yeah, there's not even going to be a funeral. She can't even have that. What can I do? Do you want to help me get in touch with everyone? I didn't want to just text it to them. I thought it would be insensitive. Sure, I can help. Let's split up the list. Thanks, Guy. I really didn't want to do this by myself. Friends always help each other out.
The CDC says as you get older, your risk for severe illness from COVID-19 increases. For example, people in their 50s are at higher risk for severe illness than people in their 40s. Similarly, people in their 60s or 70s are in general at higher risk for severe illness than people in their 50s. The greatest risk for severe illness from COVID-19 is among those aged 85 or older. Shut up. I'm so sorry for Gertie. How awful to not even have a funeral. I'm so glad my dad is home and getting better. I was so worried. Chase, it could have been me who lost someone. We could have lost you. You know we were all worried about that. I'm being selfish. Being glad I have my dad. Glad I didn't lose someone like Gertie. You can't help what you think and feel. I do feel bad for her. Me too. Hey, I hear you're coming back to school the next nine weeks. Yeah, my dad got his job at the plant back and he wants me back in school. That's really great. Yeah, it is. What can we do for Gertie? I guess just let her know we're here for her. Let her know we care. We can't fix it. We can't even try to fix it. I'm going to call her. You think that's okay? Yeah, I think she'd really like that. So now you finally know someone who died of COVID. Your point? You always said it was fake, that there really wasn't a virus. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm still not so sure. How can you say that when Gertie's grandmother just died? I didn't actually know her. But you know Gertie. Her grandma was old. Her grandmother was only 62. Wow, only 62? Yeah, my grandmother's older than that. So is mine. So you still don't believe in the virus? I don't know, Zoe. I know there's something that's taken away a lot from all of us. It's made all of us a little crazy, some more than others. Whatever it is, it's definitely a virus. It is dangerous. It is dangerous. and I'm afraid life might just never be the same. Don't forget about the good things, Calvin. Good things? Yeah, if it weren't for the coronavirus, we wouldn't know that you're afraid of escalators and we wouldn't have seen the sensitive side of yourself that you hide from everyone. Hey, did you just call me sensitive? You know, I'm as tough as nails and don't you forget it. Do you think they'll have a funeral? I don't know, maybe later. I didn't really ask. I mean, Sheena's always talking about the importance of tradition and ritual. Maybe it's just important to the family. I'm sure. How's Bill? He's good. He's getting out in two days. Trying to get everything under control. Yeah, but isn't that what got him in trouble in the first place? Trying to get everything under control? I guess so. Maybe he's just trying to get his control issues under control. I'm just glad he'll be okay. I am too. It was really scary. Calvin told me how you were the real hero, calling 911 and everything. I never meant to be a hero. I was just trying to be a friend. You are a good friend, Donovan Fry. Better than a cardboard cutout, anyway. Maggie, do you think it'll ever go back to normal? Isaac, you have to stop thinking about what's happening in the future. Look at the here and the now. I'm so sad for Gertie. So Be sad for happy her. for Gertie. Happy? What are you talking about? Happy that Gertie loves someone so much that now her heart is breaking. Happy that she made special memories with her grandmother. Happy that her grandmother was a part of her life. Wow, you amaze me with how you think. It's the truth. We spend too much time thinking about what we lost and we forget to think that we had it in the first place. Gertie? Hi, Vince. I wasn't sure when the right time to call was. Now is good. Gertie, I'm I'm so sorry that that my grandmother died. You can say it. You're not gonna break down and turn into a crying mess. At least I don't think so. <laughs> Gertie, I'm so sorry that your grandmother died. Me too. Do you wanna tell me about her? She bought 56 rolls of toilet paper. I remember you telling me about that. Do you think she got COVID at the store? I don't know. She could have gotten it anywhere. I know it shouldn't matter, but I want to know what she could have done to not get it. To not 
die to not be gone out of my life so soon. I, know, I want her really. back. I know. Vince, I want her back. I know, Gertie, I know. I didn't realize all the wonderful things until it was too late. I didn't even know they were wonderful. What I'd give for one more summer, for one more chance to even just say goodbye. Gertie, what did your grandmother like? Alex Trebek. Well, he is quite the man. All that intelligence and brawn was not to like. What your grandmother really liked was you, was having you as her granddaughter. You were her only granddaughter. You, you were her light, and she shared everything she loved with you because you, you meant everything in the world to her. How do you know she felt this way? I know, because who wouldn't feel that way about you? You light up every room you're in, and you're curious and fun. It sounds like you knew her. I don't, but I know you. Thank you. I, listen, I, I need you to do something for me. I need you to go out to your front steps and uh, there's something there for you. You were here? Like, you were here at my house? I snuck out and got a ride. Sheena. Go ahead, I'll wait. Vince, I don't know what to say. They're beautiful. They're my favorite flower. My grandmother liked daisies too. She used to have a whole bunch of them in her garden. She used to say there was no keeping the daisies out, so we might as well encourage them. Tomorrow or the next day or whenever you need me, I want to walk with you and hold your hand through all this. But... I want to text you good morning and good night and make you laugh and talk you down off the edge when you feel crazy. But I'm like a sibling to you, remember? Gertie, you've never been like a sibling to me. You're, you're who I like, and I want to do anything I can to make your world a little bit better. You already make my world better, Vince, by just being you. Really? For now. Your words are all that I need. I gotta go now, but maybe tomorrow we can go and take a walk. Definitely. I want you to tell me all about your grandmother. I will. Bye, Vince. Oh, I got the girl! I got the girl! I got the girl! This is our story. Not the one you're probably expecting. But the one we had to tell. We don't have answers to give you. We can't tell you what's going to happen tomorrow. We don't know when or if things will ever be normal again. The musical we never did. Beauty and the Beast. We hope to do it in March of 2021. But we can't make promises. We can't hold on to something that we may never have the chance to be. We can hold on to memories. And hope. And we can keep creating. It's the nature of love to create. COVID-19 has changed all of us. Has made some of us better. And some of us worse. What we realized was that after we stopped listening to everyone else's voices, we could hear our own. Tally was never one of us. She never will be. We found our own voice. And that's what we shared with you tonight. We're still teenagers who have dreams. Who have problems. We want to have fun. Make friends. Be long. We still get confused. Feel lost. Fall in love. Life is short. Cherish the time you have. With friends. And with family. Always learning that no matter how bad it gets. We matter. Our voices matter. What we think. What we feel. What we know. It still matters. And amidst all the craziness. We will not stop living. Loving. Creating. And our voices may change. 
but, but they will never, never be taken away. Be taken away.